Welcome back everybody. So you're probably wondering what I'm doing in the car. I just got back from purchasing another inflatable. I bought this on the used market on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I've had kind of hit or miss luck with Facebook Marketplace, but it's kind of my new addiction because you can always find a lot of the good big props like this inflatable um, that I just am not finding on the other used markets like at Goodwill or, you know, um, garage sales or whatnot. So this actually... I, was, I bought it right away. I happened to be on Facebook Marketplace as it popped up. So by the time the ad came online to the time I purchased it was 30 minutes, which I think is good because the last time I tried to buy a large scale inflatable on Facebook Marketplace, it got sold before I could, you know, purchase it. So I jumped right on this. I'm not entirely sure how it works. I didn't even ask the lady, hey, does this inflate? I mean, I could just guess by the pictures um, that it did. And she had mentioned that she'd had it for years. I believe this is from 2011. It is a castle. It's a walkthrough. And, um, you know, it's supposed to be about 11 feet tall. I paid $40 for it. It usually retailed for $250. So I thought, eh, it's worth a gamble. We'll see. Um, you know, again, sometimes when I bought my inflatables on the used market that are aging like this, you know, the the I guess the pores in the fabric sort of expand and they don't inflate very well, which you can kind of tell in the picture. It might be getting on the verge of not great inflating, um, but we're going to see here in a minute. So one other thing, you know, because I just bought it right away, I didn't ask any questions. You should always ask a lot of questions, but I really didn't want to miss out on this inflatable. Um, so it did not come in a box. <laughs> All I have is the inflatable here in my back seat. Um, I also saw when I got there, she mentioned that, you know, the lights don't work anymore, um, but the fan does. She says she's, you know, the only reason she's getting rid of it is because, you know, her kids have all grown up, so she doesn't need it anymore. She says it works. Well, let's go ahead and find out. All right, let's try and sort through this big jumbled mess. Um, now, one thing I wasn't able to see in the pictures are what the sides look like. I mean, one thing that really drew me to this was the fact that it was kind of plain in the front and in the back was, um, you know, it wasn't overly decorated like some of them that you see at the Home Depot or Lowe's these days. So I'm hoping that, uh, I mean, I can see kind of here, there's some windows it looks like. Um, you know what, we're just gonna be surprised here in a minute. I'm just trying to find the fan see the cord okay so here's the fan it does have some legs that pop into place um, looks a little dirty but I think it'll be fine let's go ahead and plug it in see if we can get this thing to inflate It's inflating. I do see that there are some um, little duct tape strips here and there. I mean, obviously, you have to kind of expect that after, you know, almost 10 years. So let's go. It's filling up. Now. I'm just keeping an eye out for zippers because the zippers might be open somewhere to help let the air out. But I don't see any yet offhand. These things are just such a big volume of space. Clearly it's gonna take a while for this thing to, to get going. All right, here we go. Now, I am not kidding. It took me over 10 minutes to get this thing up. I had to actually um, use 
the, um, the supporting string to kind of pull it out because no matter what I kept doing, it would always keep collapsing in on itself. So I think it'll work. I mean, the blower's enough to kind of keep it up. It won't keep it up without being tied down. My intention was to put this on my driveway hill over here, which is gonna make it even extra difficult. Um, I don't know, I guess I can tie it to the trees because you have to keep pulling this, these corners out so that it won't collapse. Um, but my intention was that people would have to walk through it. I wanted to kind of use this video time to see if, will it stand up on its own on a hill? No, it won't. It won't stand up on its own on a flat surface. But let me go ahead and bring the camera in a little bit closer and give you a peek at to, as to what it looks like. All right, here we can see it from the side. You know, as I was saying, I was curious as to what the side panels look like. And as you can see, they have little ghosts in the window. In fact, I didn't even notice they were ghosts at first until just now because when the light's not shining through them they look pretty dark and all you see are the little green eyes but it's pretty cool with the ghosts it's got the plain block walls which will actually match my decor for my other halloween pieces so i'm excited about that the towers stand supposedly 11 feet tall they are pretty massive and then the front, which again drew me to the item itself, was that it's plain. You've got a tombstone, a jack-o'-lantern, and a couple of wall lights. As you can see, they've had to tape this closed here. The front does have these um, streamers. I always love having kids walk through these things. As a kid, you know, you love doing that too, so. All right. Inside, the roof hangs very low. <laughs> So I definitely have to crouch to get inside here. You can see at the windows there are three on either side. There is some sort of creature hanging here in the middle. It looks like it's a blow-up bat. I don't know if that was actually part of this inflatable or they just added it. And as you can see, they have string lights and little Velcro areas where you can attach the string lights that run along the center beam and down the side to this little pouch here with a box that appears to contain audio. I did glance in it already. The connectors are all rusted and the, um, the seller told me they didn't work, so I'm not even going to bother trying that. And then you can go through all the way to the end. Of course, it's in my garage. But just to give you a peek, there's really nothing on the back side. It's just plain towers. As you can see, I'm about 6'3". I definitely am taller than the doorway entrance. Um, gonna have to have adults crouch down. So again, my intention was to have this in the middle of the driveway on the hill, um, have people walk through it. Might make it a little difficult for them, but I still might make them do it. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna get the thing to stand. I might actually build some PVC supports um, and then just sort of use these built-in Velcro clips have the PVC hold it, but uh, we'll see. So stay tuned for that. All right, so clearly this is not going to work on my driveway as a walkthrough. I just can't get it to stay up. I did try, you know, tying it to the trees on either side of the driveway. It's just that the center keeps collapsing. Um, and I'm just a little worried about people walking through it. So what I've decided, I'll just leave it on the side. Normally, this is where I would put my mausoleum, which is kind of actually similar looking, but um, it's I built it out of wood and plastic and so forth. This would be so much easier than my mausoleum that I might just, you know, <laughs> stop using it and use this instead. Even if it is kind of collapsing, it gives it a dilapidated feel. And then I can still put a figure in here, especially maybe one of those figures that are only like five feet tall. I hate those less than, you know, real height figures. But in this sort of situation where 
can't really walk through this anyway. It's really low. I'm 6'3". Obviously, I can't even fit through the doorway without crouching. But, you know, maybe a less than life-size figure inside would look a little bit more realistic. So, it's not going to work for what I'd intended. Here's a suitable alternative. You know, you got to kind of roll with the punches and you definitely want to be careful when you are buying props like this online. Um, I could have asked to test it while I was there. I didn't. I just went in. I grabbed it. I was in a hurry. I took her word for it that it still worked. And it does. It works. It's just, you know, not great. So definitely buyer beware. Caveat emptor. Do your due diligence before buying used props online. Um, but hopefully you'll have better luck than I did. Um, even though uh, I'm okay with this. So anyway, have you bought a prop like this online and had some bad luck with it? Let me know. What did you do? Did you solve the problem somehow or do you just live with it? But that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned if you want to see more DIYs, product reviews, and store walkthroughs. And uh, that'll do it for today. Take care, guys. Happy haunting. Halloween Havoc.